All right. Last lesson on factoring. There were a couple people that got this right on the quiz. Let me check. All right. So the steps for doing this. Okay. All right. So if you have four terms, that's when you use factoring by grouping. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to group together the first two and the last two. So I always put parentheses in around the first two terms and then around the last two terms. Okay. Now, we're going to factor out co what's common in the first part. What does the first part have in common? X, X squared. Yeah, I can take an X squared out of both of those. Okay. So if I take out an X squared out of the first part, what do I have left? X plus 7. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the second part. So plus, bring down your plus sign. What comes out? 2. And what do I have left over? X plus 7. Okay. So I have 2 that are the same, correct? All right, so one factor becomes what I took out of both of them. So x squared plus 2, I put those together. And my other term is what I have in common, which is x plus 7. Okay, now if we want to check this, how do I check this? I multiply it out, right? x squared times x, I get x cubed plus 7x squared plus 2x plus 14. Is this what I started with? Sweet. This is my answer. Okay, so if you look at number one, okay, put parentheses around the first two, parentheses around the second two. Okay, in the first part, what can come out? Three x squared. And what do I have left? X plus 5. Is everybody with me? Okay. Minus, what am I taking out? 2. Now, be careful with this because really, out in front of here, what am I distributing? A negative 2. So when I take this out, I'm left with x, careful, if I take a negative 2 out of a negative 10, I'm left with a positive 5. So I'm left with a plus 5. So be careful with that. So my two factors, my first factor is going to be 3x squared minus 2. And my second factor is going to be x plus 5. Kind of fun, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so number 2, split it into two parts. First two factors, second two factors. Okay. Take out your common factor in number or in the first two. Do it. Trey, what'd you get coming out of the first two? 4x. Okay. If I take out a 4x, what do I have left? 2x plus 3. Okay, bring down your plus sign. 
Now take out what's common in the second part. Y, okay, so we can take out a Y. Yeah, just a Y. What am I left with? 2X plus 3. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little clue. If these aren't the same, you did something wrong. Okay, you have to have two in common. Okay, so then my factors just become, Sam, what's my first factor? Plus y, good. And my second factor, Caitlin, is? x plus 3. Good. Not so bad, right? Right? Okay, everybody do number 4. Keely, what'd you take out of the first two? X cubed, yep. And what'd you have left over? X plus four. Okay, plus, Chris, what'd you take out of the second two? Uh, you've got two and eight. So what can you take out? Can you take an 8 out of 2? What, what do these two have in common? Just, uh, they're both divisible by 2, so what can I take out? 2. There you go. So I can take out a 2. And what do I have left? X plus 4. There you go. Okay, so Rebecca, my first factor is x cubed plus 2, and Hannah, my second factor is x plus 4. Very good. What do you think? Ready to work? Okay.